My name is Ashton Brown and the issue I'm going to be talking about today is the lack of Christian ethics in the film industry. It has become incredibly exhaustive for people holding a Christian worldview and seeking to live a life on the principles laid out in the Bible while watching and interacting with the same content as the world around them, the secular world. When approaching the film industry for entertainment, precaution is encouraged. In today's society, the film and entertainment industry has been, been taken over by the secular world and their agendas and worldview are being pictured in nearly every film on the market. In this industry, R-rated movies, meaning the films containing adult material such as sexual activity, harsh profanity, intense graphic violence, drug abuse, and nudity, make up 57% of all marketed and viewed movies. In my own family, when searching for films, these questions often come up. What's the language like? Is there much violence? And is there any nudity? But these only hint to half the battle, because beneath the surface content is the worldview and agendas of the movie, which can be even more damaging and harmful to the viewer. Some causes to this issue, lack of Christian ethics in the film industry, is the film industry is dominated by the secular world. There simply isn't enough Christian film producers or content. The industry is dominated with non-religious content, which makes it the most viewed by the general public. Inconsistency of the rating system is the next cause. The rating system is made by the MPAA, Motion Picture Association of America. Over the years, the rating system has dropped along with the ethics of the time. What used to be an R-rated movie is now PG-13. This causes viewers at a younger age to be exposed to inappropriate content. The next cause is peer pressure. The entertainment industry is one of the vocal points of our era, and it is nearly universal. When an individual is not following along with current films, they are often dismissed as irrelevant. This causes many to just follow the crowd and dismiss their beliefs and morals in order to appear more contemporary. Another cause is a lack of boundaries on streaming services. Streaming services, such as Netflix, Prime, or Hulu, are made for a group as a whole. And they do not take into account that content may be inappropriate for all ages. Lack of proper context for content in films is the last cause. There is a time and place for everything. Oftentimes, films use unnecessary language and gore and slather it upon films for no apparent reason. For example, a World War II movie would most likely contain um, gore and violence because it would be portraying the horror of the time. But if the same content is put into just a random comedy, it could be deemed as inappropriate for the viewer. Now for solutions. There is no one-size-fits-all solution to these issues and its causes, but resources can, be, can, be help, can help create borders and boundaries to benefit viewers and keep them from falling into a slippery slope of sin. Um, some of these resources include services such as Rotten Tomatoes or Plugged In, which rate movies and list the language, gore, and sexual content in each film and allow movie consumers to be aware what they may be getting into. For these services to be beneficial, each individual or family has to have already created boundaries as to what is beneficial and harmful to them and their family personally. Another beneficial resource is fil in filtering out unnecessary and appropriate content is VidAngel, a streaming service company that allows users to skip what may be considered distasteful content based on user preference. This allows viewers to have a wider variety of, avail of available films to consider. Still, it is important to note that agendas and worldviews of every movie for every film contains an agenda, and it can be much more damaging for without the viewer's knowledge, the agendas are being normalized. So even with resources such as VidAngel, they take out the border content, the stuff you see on the surface, but most movies 
go deeper than that. So you still have to take into account the agendas and worldviews the movie is made in. Um, one of the best solutions is as an individual or as a family, create boundaries, recognizing your own stumbling blocks and awareness and weaknesses. For example, someone who struggles with alcoholism or alcohol abuse should stay away from movies who hold to a strong theme of alcohol. This is simply just to keep them from falling into sin and being exposed to things that they know will tempt them. Um, biblically, the Bible tells us in Colossians 1.16, for in him all things are created. We believe that as Christians that God created everything for a purpose and for um, our joy as his children. He wants us to be able to enjoy the things he has created and the film industry is the same thing. Um, though God created all things including entertainment for our pleasure and our joy, it is important that we use it to honor him and what, that we make wise choices to do this. That films may be um, leading humanity closer to Christ rather than becoming a stumbling block, allowing man to fall into sin. Psalms 119.37 says, Turn my eyes away from worthless things. Preserve my life according to your word. In the lives of Christians, films can play either a beneficial or hindering role. It is important that they are used as a tool to glorify God and spread his truth rather than a temptation causing man to stumble and fall into sin. Thank you.